Hello everybody, this is the Dermlite DL3 dermatoscope. Today I'm just showing you the equipment so you can, uh, so I'm just showing you the equipment. If you want to learn how to use it and interpret what you see, then please do come along to one of our Dermoscopy for Absolute Beginners courses. So this is the Dermlite DL3. So nice dermatoscope as you can see, and it has a button on this side, which turns it on would turn it on if it was charged and then the button on the other side switches it between modes between polarized and non-polarized modes to focus this one you twist this part here and as you can see the end plate extends and this little marking here is to show you where it is when it is perfectly focused for a flat lesion which is exactly there this is a completely enclosed system and so you don't need to take the end plate off to clean on the inside of it and in fact on this one the end plate doesn't come off for you to clean on the inside of it. That may be a slight disadvantage if you want to have a look at a lesion that has vessels on the surface that you don't want to compress but what you can do is you can just retract the end plate and hold it above the skin a certain distance to get the focus about right to do that. For hygiene purposes, you can either cover the end plate with a piece of cling film or these caps, which are actually for the DL4, will also fit onto the DL3 and you can still use it in polarized mode and non-polarized mode with one of these disposable caps on it. It has a good sized end plate and it has very good focus to the edges of the field and works very nicely like that. The standard DL3 comes with a, um, a thread there so that the magnetic adapter won't attach directly. However, if you buy one of the universal adapters, it comes with this little metal ring which you just screw on like that so that now you can attach your phone to it. And one of the big advantages of these types of derm lights is that when you have your phone attached, and I'm going to demonstrate with this one here, which is in the magnetic case, when you have the phone attached, it is still easy to focus the scope because it's got this nice big bit to hold on to in order to extend and retract that end plate. It's worth pointing out though that it will only work with the Dermlite adapters. The Heine universal adapter has a bit that sticks out and so it doesn't get such a good connection with the magnet there. These come with a variety of chargers. There is one of these that's available that can be used with a standard mobile phone charger. This particular one is one that has a cradle charger and is very good if you have a if you have your own room. So for example, if you're a GP with your own office and you can put the cradle on your desk and you can charge it in the cradle on your desk whilst you're using it. And that's what I tend to use this one for. Size wise, it's a reasonable size, it's slightly bigger than the DL4. Again, it comes with a very similar leather case and putting it in and doing it up. This will then go on your um, on a belt clip, but it is slightly bigger than the DL4, which I'm putting here just so that you can see them side by side. This one's the DL4, this one's the DL3. And we'll just get it back out again. There we go. So that is the Dermlite DL3. And as I say, I'm just showing you the equipment now to learn how to use it. And for more details about interpreting what you see, then please do come along to one of our dermoscopy training sessions. You can see what ones are coming up by looking at the PCDS website, which is pcds.org.uk. So that was the Dermlite DL3.